Hey there, I'm Michael. Take a seat and I'll tell you all about Cauldron Master from Alley Cat Games. This is coming to Kickstarter on the 1st of March. It is a short little filler card game of set collection. You are all witches and you're trying to brew the most potions in order to have the most points. But for potions, you need ingredients. And those are these cards here that what you're collecting the sets of. The way the game works is you have five witches in your coven with which to use. Everyone will simultaneously pick one and put it in front of them that they're going to use this round. This witch dictates a couple of things. The number on it will dictate the order of turns for resolution. The lower the number, the sooner you'll act. The other thing it dictates is which ingredients you can take from the supply here. Once everyone has picked their witch, you reveal, and then, in order, each player will take their ingredients. And the game ends once all the ingredients are gone. Once you've taken your ingredients, you then put them into one of your cauldrons here. And the cauldrons say on them which ingredients you can put in. Once you've filled a cauldron, it will then score. Any unfilled cauldrons will get you no points, and once you've filled a cauldron, you get to take a new cauldron from the supplier here. So what you're trying to do is, in each of your individual cauldrons, have sets of the same ingredients. Now the ingredients come in three different colours. You've got the green, orange and red. Obviously red are harder to get, but worth more points. Green are the easiest to get. If you have one on its own, you'll get the points listed first. If you have two of a card in the cauldron, rather than getting the first number, you get the second number, and the third, so on and forth, so on. So, that's the game. What do I think of it? Well, the artwork is not to my tastes, to be honest. I think some of it is quite nice, but especially the witches, they're too scrawny, it's just not a style that I personally like, although they are by a famous um, illustrator, Irene Horrors, so that will appeal to some of you out there, I'm sure. With regards to components, it is a prototype, so there's not a lot to talk about, even if it wasn't, it's only cards, so still not really much there. With regards to gameplay, as a short filler game, really there's not a lot to it. I enjoy the fact that with the picking of witches, you've got to cry and guess what it is that your opponents are going to play. To go, well, I know of the ones there, there's only the one that I actually want. Or there's one that will get me a really good amount of points. So I need to go for a low number to ensure that I'm going to get to go first. But you need to think, well, what's the lowest number I can get away with so I can get as many ingredients as possible? But the thing that balances that aspect of the game and the need to kind of be able to better judge what other people, that social aspect that would often put me off of a game, is the fact that you have five of these cards and you can't just repeatedly use them. Once you've used one, you're not going to get it back until you've used all the cards and that means even if you make a few bad decisions, just the luck of the cards and the way everyone else is playing will tend to balance out nicely. Again, with the luck of the cards, the luck of how each time the grid lays out is a good way of judging and changing the game that makes it work and not be too heavy. Now, with regards to scaling, can two play that game? Two can play that game. All you do is you adjust the number of ingredients here and that's it. It works fantastically well with all the different player numbers. And so yeah, no issues there with that. With regards to the replay value, it's a short little game. There's not a lot to it. There is a fair amount of randomness in there. The replay value is good, but I wouldn't say it's fantastic just because games feel very similar even if they do play out differently. Okay, so that is my thoughts on Cauldron Master, a pretty damn nice little card game in a box. Uh, it 
plays in quick time, if you want just a short little filler game, if you like set collection, if you like the whole social aspect of the guessing what other people are going to do to play your card as to which ingredients you get to take, then this is definitely one you should check out. Okay, I do hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you have, please do check out the rest of the videos on the channel as well as sharing and subscribing to the channel. And as always, thanks for watching and bye for now.